Uh, this story really started uh, close to 20 years ago. We had started with three people. I was lucky to be one of them, where there was a vision that we would be able to work with partners and build capabilities that one day in the UAE we'd be able to build and launch our own satellites. It was a unique experience that turned us from just fresh graduates into really confident engineers in building uh, huge systems. Now we've gone a step further where we are developing Mohammed bin Zayed Sat. It's our biggest satellite ever. The satellites approximately weigh around 700 kg and the dimension is actually from 3 meters to approximately 5 meters. We'll fly to uh, California, it'll land in Los Angeles and then head up to Vandenberg uh, Air Force Base, which is where it will be launched from. It's launching on a Falcon 9 rocket. Once it's launched, it's a 15 to 20 minute launch uh, journey. It's not that long. It'll be uh, injected into its orbit and then it will start orbiting Earth at that altitude, about 550 kilometers. And then there are steps that we'll take. Most of these are automatic, which is opening our solar panels, checking out all the systems, making sure everything is working. And then of course, we will then communicate with the satellite using our ground station here. One of the most, I would say, important uh, strategic objective of Mohammed bin Zayed satellite is uh, collaborating between governmental sector and the private sector. The purpose of collaborating is to have a sustainable economics uh, when it comes to a space sector and manufacturing. Most of the components, up to 90% of the satellite, is built with UAE companies. It's one of the highest resolution cameras around the world. When we worked on it, we, we had to come up with a design that can capture very small areas on Earth. So the satellite orbits Earth. Uh, it orbits Earth in about 90 minutes. It's at about a height of 500, 550 kilometers above Earth. So it'll be orbiting very fast. That gives us almost 14 to 15 uh, revolution around Earth. This gives us the ability to image uh, anywhere around the world. But when we take an image, every pixel in that image will cover a very small area on Earth, an extremely small area that will be less than 30 centimeters. And with a satellite like this, so some of those are planning your cities, looking at different changes on Earth. So if we're looking at the coastline, if we look at plants, if we look at flooding, disasters, earthquakes, all of this is monitored from space using satellites like MBZ. One of the most important uh, features of MBZ satellite is the download rate of the data actually now is four times higher than the previous satellites. We are now at a stage where we're really proud of what we have done. And uh, we believe and confident that we, this will continue with uh, more challenging uh, missions as we go. We have successfully established the dream and it is part of our life. When we are strong with our capabilities, we're able to help others and we're able to contribute to much bigger endeavors with much larger countries. And that is really what I think is the, is the biggest advantage of what we do today at the Mohammed Barash Space Center.